Scott and Ginger here with uh, your three minute tech bite. Hello. And today we're going to talk about Google Docs. We actually had a request from somebody to explain how the whole Google Docs situation works. So that's what we're going to do. And um, you do need a Google account to start your own Google Doc. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe you need a Google account to share a Google Doc. So we'll get into all of that. Uh, point your web browser to docs.google.com. And if you've logged in with your Google account, it, your page will look like this. And if you haven't logged in with your Google account, you'll need to do that first. And let's make a blank document. Okay. So uh, what you can do in Google Docs is almost like any other word processor, right? Wouldn't mm -hmm. you agree? They're very similar. Super similar. So if you can do anything on uh, Microsoft Word, for example, then you can do those, a lot of those same things here, but not all of those same things. Right. Right. And so, oh, we're going to add keynotes. Uh, no thanks, not today. So uh, one thing you'll do is you'll notice up here in the top it wants to have the, the document titled, so we'll call it the Tech Byte. Um, and the cool thing about all of this, if I can hit the right buttons, is that as I type it's being saved. So one of the things you have to do all the time with your Microsoft document is save it, save it, save it, mm -hmm. save it some more. Uh, but with this, you don't have to do that ever. It saves automatically, and it's in your Google Drive area. So here's the Tech Byte. Uh, wow, this is cool. Um, but one of the most amazing, wonderful things about the Google Doc is your ability to share it with somebody else, because then they can edit it at the same time you're editing, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share it with Ginger. So I'm going to send it to her uh, USAO account. And she'll get a shareable link. And yes, I'm sure. And it's asking me that because it's going outside of the Google system. All right, so I sent Ginger an email to choose to edit this document. And she can sign in as herself. If, and the only way you can edit a document is to um, have a Google account. And you'll see that she just popped up uh, in the upper right-hand corner there next to that uh, pink thing and as ginger types it shows me exactly what she's doing and so there you go so now you can type back and forth even though we're sitting next to each other ginger could be in her home in seattle and i could be at my home in miami and we could still do this it's mm -hmm. that amazing and it's that easy um so there you go google docs and all the google docs work this way yes so google keep mm -hmm. uh, google sheets which is like excel mm -hmm. google slides which is like uh, like PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So all those things uh, work just like this. So there you go. This week's Tech Bite.